Blow out there. Uh, I uh, built this uh, press brake here. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. Uh, it's, uh, I studied a lot of different uh, designs and a lot of different manufactured ones and uh, looked at a lot of different videos here on YouTube and I thought maybe you guys would be interested in seeing what I put together here. Uh, it's an uh, eight foot hydraulic. Uh, it uh, features a 20 horse electric motor at the top there with a 25 gallon per minute uh, vane pump and a uh, 30 gallon tank that I built. Uh, it's uh, built, the main frame is built out of uh, 10 by 10 by uh, half and three quarter inch um, H, H beam type material. <clears throat> I have found the uh, set of dies, used set of dies uh, from a machine shop that uh, no longer needed them and I cut them down to uh, to fit my needs here. It um, The main uh, die holder here at the top, the blue part, is uh, one inch thick. Two, it's actually, it's two pieces of one inch thick material. Let's see if I can go down the side here of it. With a half inch piece image sandwich in between to give it the space for the to uh, make for the tang on the, the die uh, gives it the space for the for the tang to uh, slip up into up in here I uh, have uh, it's plug welded together and that's welded across the top of course and then there's uh, 10 uh, one inch diameter bolts uh, squeezing the whole works together. Um, and we'll go around to the back side here. This is all pretty much uh, salvage material. I did have to buy some, I bought that sheet of one inch and uh, had it, I split it on a plasma table. Uh, the cylinders are a five and a half inch bore um, those two were come from salvage. They were brand new. I happened to be in the right spot at the right time and uh, they're a pair of matching cylinders there. Um, they're hooked to a toggle arm that is, um, go back around the other side here. <clears throat> it's uh, one and a quarter inch thick and then uh, it rides on a two inch shaft that comes out the end there and then I have um, brackets coming down for push arms they're uh, one inch thick material on each side and they're uh, I had to uh, drill out all of all the pinholes and everything that the pins on that are uh, inch and a half uh, thick or diameter pins I should say and then to tie the two toggle arms together, I've got a torsion tube in there to uh, keep them in sync. It's, uh, I've been uh, working on this project since, uh, uh, let's see, probably I've got about seven six and a half, seven months in it here of uh, just part-time and whenever I could get time to work on it. Um, getting close to getting done here with it. I haven't, uh, haven't fired it up yet. I have to, to get some wiring over here heavy enough to uh, run that motor. Uh, it's got um, up on top there, it's a little dark, but it's got, I've got electric over hydraulic valve that uh, I'm gonna have foot feed uh, controls to run it with. And uh, so then uh, it'll be uh, be control of my foot. Uh, I also built a back gauge for it. It's it's um, not CNC, but it's got a servo motor 
it uh, rides on two uh, two inch shafts with the uh, linear bearings and uh, and uh, it'll be a variable variable drive so I can slow it way down to uh, to just a crawl uh, so I can bring it up and uh, for multiple repeated bends on uh, bending material um, it's just basically upright <clears throat> upright frame and uh, crossover uh, it's all tied together and uh, like I say it's all pretty much just salvage so if you put a little paint on her make her a little prettier but uh, it's uh, nothing